Hey, what it is, what it is, what it was, what it shall be. Okay, I know it's been a bit. Uh, my mom's been having a rough go of it for a couple of weeks now, so I hadn't been able to work on much. Uh, I do still have the other video. It's, I don't know, halfway done, but I'll get it out as soon as I can. Um, but I have uh, some interesting moon footage here I wanted to show you guys. But first, I wanted to uh, go over this um, star uh, footage I have here where I'm using the focus wheel I'm going in and out from one extreme to the other and uh, just let you guys determine what is in focus and what is not in focus I think I've kind of got it um, you know figured what's in focus and what's not and we'll go over that and I'll show you there is one more technique that I haven't tried this is my next uh, technique to try and uh, it's a sort of a white balancing technique where you use a flashlight to prime the lens uh, before you shoot something, you know, and uh, out in the dark, you know, like stars, etc. So I'll uh, share that when uh, I do get that technique down. Uh, but for now, let's check this out. Um, I'm going to zoom in on the star here, and I'm going to turn the focus wheel back and forth from one extreme to the other, and just let you guys uh, see what uh, it looks like whenever you're focusing in and out with this manual focus wheel. Okay, so here's the uh, where I'm zooming in on the star here, and forgive me, I don't know what star it is. I just, you know, randomly choose them out there. But here's where I'm using the focus wheel. Okay, I'm zoomed in, full max, and I'm turning the focus wheel from one extreme to the other. Okay, so right there seems to be the center of focus, you know. And then okay, now I'm adjusting it the opposite way, and you get uh, you get this effect, right? So okay now I've went back to the center point so that's like more uh, what seems sorta of in focus there of course I'm gonna go a little further and uh, and you'll see that it yeah this looks like a donut there you go that's why I took it you know to the center point to what I think would be the actual focus now as I turn it you can see it it, it uh, see now I'm not sure see that's what I when it's the smallest is when it seems to be um, what I would consider in focus of course I got the one technique the you know the flashlight prime the lens technique white balance I think maybe it's called I'm not sure about that but here's another one and uh, now this one it's uh, what's this you know it's like orange on the bottom bluish green on the top and I'm of course I'm turning the focus wheel here and you can see what happens um, it uh, you know and so I'm not even uh, sure um, I think when I use this other technique I'll be able to get more of an idea of where the you know the 100% true focus is because according to you know the camera and all it seems like that right there should be the focus you know and of course I'm zoomed all the way in and the camera is just not you know cooperating as far as the shaking is going I'm trying to keep the thing as still as I can but that's the best I can do without uh, editing the uh, footage itself uh, which I'm learning how to do um, it's not as simple as you know an application you actually have to do some um, composite type work you know um, manipulate the footage you know to where it, uh, it, it yeah well there's a technique to it and I've, I've yet to uh, master that but I'm working on it but anyway for now um, it's a little shaky just uh, accept my apology for that okay now here is uh, the star that uh, it looks more like a spaceship to me now this is what is considered see now it was in focus and I'm turning the focus wheel and this is what happens right which is very interesting looking I mean but there's a back I pulled it back now that right there is the you know what the camera um, I think the camera thinks is a, in focus that's you know um, and see it's like it's well it's supposed to be a star and uh, it, you know to me it looks more like a craft or something but um, after I try the white balance technique or the flashlight prime the lens technique I don't even know what it's called uh, maybe we'll get a better idea but this right here is where I actually did get it stabilized on this particular star well 
and it's moving again because it you know of course they're moving and I have to keep moving the camera to uh, to keep it in the frame but there I went to one extreme with the focus lens and then I pulled it back to the center what I consider the center point which is right there you know so that's actually in focus in my opinion right there what you're looking at um, seeing there's where I pulled it back and it took it out of focus and it starts looking like a sideways fox uh, guy fox mask or something see there you go back in focus back out and you can see I'm playing around with the focus wheel here but it's, it always brings me right back to this image right here that right there and then of course I'm zooming out okay all the way out now here we go here's some of the moon footage now first of all this was uh, the clarity is not what I'd like it to be because the moon was um, it was just coming up it was way back there on the horizon and the night was not very clear so the clarity is not as good as what I would like it to be but still yet we got some anomalies here that seem interesting to me um, these <laughs> I mean that just looks really um, I don't know I mean I thought it was worth sharing anyway even though the the clarity is not as good as it usually is because usually it's a clear night when I shoot the moon and the moon will be like more um, closer like a right up above instead of being far out on the horizon um, on the horizon but look at this it looks you know and then we had this outage people were saying the YouTube outage that lasted for an hour two hours they were saying something hit the moon well I mean I'm not so sure about that I did it was strange uh, look at that though isn't that weird it was strange that I seen that video about the moon something hitting the moon right before the outage happened because it it went out while I was watching I watched that video and then um, and then after that um, I got done watching that video I, I couldn't access the the uh, the YouTube anymore but anyway okay that's that part now here's a totally different night and again the moon is way out on the horizon and what's kind of interesting here is the colors I'm getting and this is really neat and interesting looking look at this little thing sticking up here first of all look, you're getting the, like the green and uh, the different colors illuminating there and even up at the top on the horn you're getting different colors but just check that out it's a uh, you know I, now I did a, a, a manipulate the brightness and contrast just a bit on this uh, to try to uh, you know get a better idea of what was going on here but I'm gonna go across and you check that out oh and that crater look at that crater on the it, the shadow of that crater below that uh, thing sticking up lighting up there it looks like a shadow of a, it looks like a snake you know twisted around there of course it's a shadow of that crater but look at the little things lighting up isn't that just interesting okay here we go to the other side and check out this other horn Another thing, look at there. That is so weird. And then the colors, too. Now, if I were to slow this down, you would really be able to see the colors. Um, you know, like if you pause at any certain point, you would see the, the colors. But look at the end of the tip of that horn. Isn't that weird? That looks like, uh, well, it's just very strange looking. But another thing, I'm gonna, I got some still images at the end of the video. But something I noticed here is um wow that is so weird something i noticed yeah the colors sorry about that i keep getting sidetracked by the images i'm seeing here and but something i noticed is the uh the way the moon the crescent is tilted see now as i was growing up the moon never it was always kind of a sideways you know angle it never was up and down like a smiley face or the two horns sticking straight up um, now I see that on these old um, ancient symbolisms you know where you got the the you know the the horn the like the arched upside down arched and it makes two horns sticking up there's a lot of ancient um, symbolism about that but uh, you know that's what the moon is doing now which I don't ever remember that in my you know youth growing up the moon just did not um, set um, in that position ever it does now I mean it's like there you go see that's what I'm talking about look at it it's almost perfectly straight up and down I noticed one person I think I seen a while back called it the uh, Chester cat 
smile or something, you know, like the old cat on the, uh, the cat on the, uh, um, Alice in Wonderland, I believe it is, where the cat, uh, you know, he's got that big old grin. Yeah, that does kind of remind you of that, but look at that. Now, now again, this is a, this is a different night. This is three nights I've got footage of here. So I'm showing you different, um, anomalies from three different nights here. And every night, there, look, there's another one in what's the shadow look, but it makes it look like an arch, a different, and that's not the same as the other one, but right there, see it? In the, in the lower, upper left there, almost looked arch-ish. It is uh, pretty neat looking. Yeah, that's all just uh, strange looking stuff. And that, uh, here we go, we got the horn on the right. I mean, come on now. And here's some of that, the photos I took. The Chester Cat smile, you know, the upside down um, arch with the horns. I mean, all weird. But hey, that's it, you guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe, take care, and God bless.